What's up guys, Chard here, welcome to a brand new video. We're back again on some Call of Duty Modern Warfare. As most of you probably know, the new SPR-208 Marksman Rifle has dropped. It's free on the Battle Pass, it's tier 15, and it's a beast-ass gun. Um, I'm going to be showing you all my attachments, um, basically the whole class right here. Uh, for perks, I got Quick Fits, Ghost, and Amped. Um, using ghosts because I hate when people can see me on UAVs. I just hate it, especially when you're going for clips. You never want you never want people to know where you are and shit. Um, lethal. I have the Molotov cocktail, and then I just have a flash grenade. I'm probably going to switch this to C4, um, just to make things easier. You know what I'm saying? So let's head into the attachments. Nothing on the muzzle. Nothing on the barrel. And then we got tat laser, of course. I think. If you're running a sniper, you gotta be having the TAT laser on. For optic, there's nothing better than the sniper scope. Um, it's called the Solo Zero SPR 28 millimeter on this one. Um, we have the third stock equipped. Now I've been playing around with a lot of these, and it seems like the SP Light 208 Blitz is the best one to go with. Um, like I said, I've been toying around with the 208 Ultimate and the Blitz, and the Blitz. I think it's just a lot better in my opinion. We have nothing on the perk or under barrel. Um, now this is key right here. The 10 round mags is honestly so beast. Um, you literally don't even need a secondary. Like I literally have a pistol. The .50 GS pistol. Um, you literally don't need one. And this, this gun isn't even really a hit marker machine either so it's good to have the 10 round mags to keep going for clips and all all that good stuff so bolt assembly i've been toying around with these two obviously the rechamber speed rechamber stability um if you're more sitting in a camping spot long range accuracy is obviously what you need you don't need the fire rate but if you're a run and gun type of player like i am you're definitely going to want the kr 600 feather on um just because the fire rate is a lot faster and it boosts it up a little bit but yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, like I said, I've been toying around with the stock and the bolt assembly a little bit. Um, but right now, this, this is the best class setup that I have been using for the SPR-208 or R700. And yeah, that's pretty much all I have today. Um, thank you for tuning in. Please go check out my other videos and please sub. It means a lot to me. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace out.